Hello again and welcome back to the channel, my fellow pocket clips from, <laughs> from around the world. Hope everyone's well. Anyway, today, as you can clearly see from the title, we've got another rake or rakey, um, as some people pronounce it. Okay, nicely presented box in that matte black finish. Okay, with the silver foil insignia there. Um, and there you go. That's the serial number. And there she is. Okay, nothing else there. And what's this? There you go. All right. So, oh, okay. It's, it's one of those. It's a slider. It's an outer box. So then we've got the actual box. There you go. Makes for a good gifting present, doesn't it? Because it's got a nice finish. Again, same again, guys. Matte black finish and silver foil. So let's pop this puppy out. Here we go. What we got here? Clearly, we've got some. Oh, maybe not yet. There you go. Look at that. We this is the M series, guys. And there you go. That is all the models of the M series. Fantastic. Really good knives. Really, really good knives. And there you go. And then you've got your product warranty and such like. There you go and a few instructions no doubt and what's this product warranty card if you do so desire to fill that out and a little label there and just pop this up puppy out okay get this out there you go break that off nicely presented i have to say i have to be quite impressed with that and there she is guys look at that isn't that not lovely this is form and function nice serial number on the back of the spring there yeah, so this is obviously very similar to a sack knife. If you've never seen these knives before, or you're new to my channel. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Loving the OD green. OD, that's olive drab in case you don't know. Um, just a nice, good all-round fit and finish by the looks of it. I like the two-toned effect as well. So that you've got a slight satin, uh, you know, brush still satin on the back of the springs there. And then you've got the liners and the spaces, which are steel and it's got that two-toned effect it's quite nice anyway let's move down let's crack to it shall we um blade centering you know what bang on down the middle bang on down the middle as it should be it's all cnc machined isn't it yeah there you go let's pop this puppy out nice decent nail crescent nick um nice big easy to pull open and deploy the blade and there you go is that not lovely absolutely gorgeous Welcome to the Reiki M32. <laughs> Just a really nice knife. Loving Yodi Green, uh, but it comes in a lovely brown, earthy brown colour, apart from the forest green here. Okay. Now, look at that drop point. Look at that drop point. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a modern interpretation of a traditional drop point. But it's really practical. It's one of my favourite blades, guys. Very, very practical, okay? Um, yeah, didn't think so. No blade wrap at all, not at all, because it's a CNC machine. Just for a check anyway. Um, nice flat grind on this particular one, uh, which is going to be a good slicer, okay? Uh, very, very nice. Any blade plate? None, not at all whatsoever. Good little sharpening choil there. And a decent bit of belly on her. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It's just a good practical blade, especially for bushcrafting. You'll find a lot of bushcraft blades are drop points. There's that. There's that uh, a good reason for that because they're general purpose, uh, good general purpose blades in the in the field. Anyway, so here we go. Um, it's a full four finger. I got. An, I can get a lot of purchase on that. Look at my thumb. No problem at all. No problem at all. Good draw cuts. Yeah, rather. Um, just it's just a nice. It just feels very good in the hand, actually. So surprisingly good, even with that pocket clip. To be fair, um, blade logo. There is. It's the Reiki blade logo. There, if you don't you can see that? And on the reverse of the blade, we've got the M thirty two G designating green. I'm guessing. Um, on the back of the blade tang, there. If you just about to see that, I don't know. Is twelve C twenty seven which is a genuine 12C27, a fantastic budget still. Very easy to maintain and holds a very good edge for quite a while. It's a mirror finish, guys, which is great for preventing rust. It helps prevent rust anyway, especially in a temperate environment like the UK. So very good, and it's UK legal, so it's fantastic for around here uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, okay? Now, any half stop? No, not as such, but... A good stick action and a positive stop. 
Uh, no walk and talk as such, but you know, this is form and function, guys. Um, you know, it's not, but I think she breaks about a five and pulls about a five. Um, I like a good walk and talk, and that's a massive bonus for me, especially on traditionals. But this is going to be, I'm going to be using this. I'm not too bothered by that, okay? I would have liked a half stop. It's not the end of the world. But um, now, if you look here closely, uh, you could have pulled this back a little bit. They could have stopped here uh, with the actual other tools, okay? And they could have taken a half moon out here, yeah? And they, and including this here, and they could have had a finger trial there. Now that for me would be much more practical. But anyway, that's just a couple of recommendations I would suggest to them. But this is a work in progress. This is so far so good. This is a good, very good knife, but this could be a great knife. Just little things like that, okay? But still worth the money for me, okay? Um, yeah, quite a nice little snap to her. Um, liners, as I said earlier, stainless steel liners and spacers. Nice and clean inside, there you go um what else okay now there's no um lanyard hold as such however there is a lanyard tool as we will get to that i'll just show you that now shall i there you go in case you're over a river or something like that you want to put uh just around your neck yeah there you go so i've done that now <laughs> but what i really like this is one of my favorite things about this knife this g10 okay now i quite like i do like a good g10 so what that is is basically fiberglass and resin okay a good it's very highly resistant lovely checkering i don't know if you can see that uh really grippy super grippy uh nice jaw hold it feels very good in the hand overall yeah i'm loving that that's really really good liking that very much anyway uh pocket clip great pocket clip um i probably would take this off okay but i'll be using it sometimes but i'll be probably taking that off to be fair just to keep it slimmer but that very good pocket clip very strong retention okay it is a tip down only it's not reversible but you know it is what it is it's nice to have the pocket clip right it just is yeah okay this this knife now has actually got 15 tools apart from the main blade let's go start from the top there you go all right we've got <laughs> of course the main reason why i got this puppy is um wasn't the best way of opening it there but hey hey on what i'm doing is that saw which is a very good saw um i can just tell by the the positions of those um those teeth that's going to be a good saw but fruit in the pudding i will test it in the field rest assured and i'll get back to you on that but that's a very nice saw very similar to the sack saws, yeah, which is probably one of the best saws on a pocket knife in the world. Then we've got, of course, a, a mini serrated saw, what I call, well, not a serrated saw, sorry, a serrated blade, rather. And this is a belt cutter. Um, now, like I said in the other one, which the urban version, I wish they just had this in line a bit more. Because they've got a 3 mil screwdriver here, which is great to have, I wish they had that in line a bit more. That's all, so you could use that screwdriver a bit more effectively um but this if you think about it is if you're in a car and you're in a crash or as a fire you know in the car or something like that you need to get out or you've got into a river a, a you know a lake or something you're going to get that behind the seat belt and cut the seat belt that webbing that's what it's for and to get out is there's the glass breaker okay and that feels very good in hand you could actually really hit the corner of the glass uh, of the window there not in the in the center id the corner glass and that should shatter okay so that's the that's the main reason for it guys yeah anyway so that's that so let's go to this so that's that one rather sorry um three mil blade by the way slotted screwdriver like i said i wish they just carried on that further um so it follows the neutral line and it wouldn't go back on you uh this one here what we've got we've got of course the classic this the bottle cap uh lifter okay bottle opener cap lifter okay all right there you go we've got a 6.5 6 mil 6.5 mil slotted screwdriver which i also in a pinch can use as a scraper okay um you can even use that to clean your nails because it's got a nice radius on it you know if you wanted to because it's not going to cut you we've got a wire former stripper okay which is it is useful um you're not gonna use it in the field that much but it is useful we talked about 
the lanyard hold there there you go all right on the back we have the corkscrew very handy for undoing knots and things like that as well as opening a bottle of wine which you can do i suppose with this and then we've got of course the reamer or punch sewing all all rather okay stitching all just super useful in the field for and that let me tell you that is super sharp <laughs> that is super sharp let me tell you yeah, that's pretty good overall. And that's it. Oh, there is one other thing here. <laughs> this, I nearly forgot about. Look at this. Now, what is that, you reckon, eh? Now, if you remember the Victoria Locks, you know you got the tweezers and, of course, the toothpick. This, how's this for a pair of tweezers? Now, that's a pair of tweezers. I mean, come on. That's really... Because the other tweezers on the Victoria Locks are... They're nice to have, but they're not very... They haven't got enough tension for me a lot of the time. If I've got a deep... Um, splinter is what I use it for 9 out of 10 I can really get in there and put it out got a decent bit of tension there spring tension okay really nice pair of tweezers and I wish Victorinox would up their game with that because that I am quite impressed about that I really am fantastic really is anyway the actual overall foot and finish of this actually pretty good overall um, if you look at this closely I'm quite impressed. I'd say it's very nice fit and finish overall. It really is. Um, hot spots. Do you know what? There is no hot spots. That's very good in the hand. Okay. Is it sharp out of the box? Absolutely. It's going to be sharp out of the box, I reckon. Just, I can't help looking at this knife. <laughs> there you go. Knew it. Just with a blade like this, no problem at all. I can test. Bring them out. There you go, guys. That's sharp out of the box, okay? You've got to catch it right. But it is sharp out of the box. Anyway, what about uh, paracord? This is, look at that, straight through, guys. Straight through. You can just push on it. That's how sharp it is, okay? This is seven strand 550 paracord. There you go. All right, fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. So for me, I mean, look, just so nice it is so nice now what have we got similar to this well we've got the s11 um the one of the keychain variant okay which i use as well a nice little backup blade that's a nice little combo isn't it look <laughs> another reason for getting this okay i thought i'd get the big brother and the little bro okay then also we've got this the urban version of this Okay, so this I need the saw. I don't need the saw and the scissors, just the saw when I'm out and about in the field. Okay, when I'm in an urban environment, I've got this, I've got the scissors. That's the only reason I've got this one. Okay, there you go, because I like a good pair of scissors when I'm in around the office or an urban environment. The only time I'm going to really use a pair of scissors for when I'm in the woods um, or in the field is going to be dressing um a first aid uh bandage or something like that okay and i've got that in the first aid kit my own set of scissors designated for that so let's see in a victorian ox i think probably closest would be something like the huntsman which is a great all-round edc it just is i love this knife however a good general purpose all-rounder which is great for around uh, whether you can go camping or whatnot, okay? But I don't need the scissors so much if I'm going just bushcrafting, okay? So this is where this comes in. So when I'm just going bushcrafting, I I need, I'd like a pair of, uh, a good knife, obviously, but also it's the, blade, it's the actual blade. That is so important to me because I'm gonna be, I could be carving with it, cutting down twigs, making um, tent pegs, whatever. It's just a great saw. Look at that saw. If we compare the saw also with the Victorian Ox, uh, let's do that, shall we? Um, you can see it's roughly the same size. Dare I say it, a little bit more stouter possibly. Um, but that's going to be cutty. Very similar geometry on the blade. Um, that is going to be, I can tell from experience, this, is gonna, this cuts well. This is going to cut also very well. Proof in the pudding, I'm going to test it in the field, okay? And, but, so the, the blade is, uh, actual saw blade is very similar. However, when it comes to the actual blade steel and um, also the blade itself, look at that. It's just, this is general purpose, lovely classic general purpose blade, 
but this is more substantial. It's a better quality steel, it's 12C27, and also just much more substantial, better blade geometry for bushcrafting, in my opinion, guys, okay? And that's why I'm gonna be using that. So I'm gonna use that as a backup tool um, to my manly wasp, which I have as well, also in green, which I reviewed about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I use that's my main one I use and I also have a fixed blade if I'm really out of um, sticks but uh, that's the one I use as a folder then that and then I've got this of course and there you go all right so um, for me what's the actual blade width for this sorry the length for this look I'm telling you now that is about two inches seven eighths which is about 7.2 centimeters blade thickness is going to be about blimey that's quite thick that's about two and a half mil wow that's quite thick yeah nearly 2.4 mil guys okay which is 0 0.9 0 0.09 of an inch so you know that's stout that really is stout and that means it's going to be strong okay so what is the overall length for this so i think it's going to be let me see let me see um if we ask there you go one two three four five six six and a half inches which is about 16 in 16 centimeters rather okay close well obviously it's going to keep under four inches isn't it um just so i'm thinking that's about hmm that's about three inches three and three quarter inches actually three and three quarter of an inch which is nine and a half centimeters okay um now <laughs> the weight this is quite this is you know you know you've got a knife in your hand guys or a multi-tool in your hand okay um for sure so what's that 4.1 ounces okay or uh let's have a look in grams 117 grams now granted that i like my adc is generally ideally under 100 grams but that's not it's just a bit over it's not that noticeable um over however so it's it's still I can carry this as an EDC, no problem at all. But for me, for me, this is more of a it's it's a multifunctional EDC, especially for bushcrafting, um, camping, hiking, or scouting, because it's it's purpose made for that environment. Okay, because it's super practical, um, it's well made overall. Um, it's very good in the hands. It's UK legal, of course, which is great for us good value for money for what you're getting um makes for a very good gifting tool i think for a birthday or special occasion so i'd highly recommend it and for me i'd actually give this i'd actually give this uh for the steel quality the steel and everything else you're getting value for money do you know what this well it's hard I think this is 4.75 stars. It's so close to a five, uh, but it hasn't got a half stop, which is not the end of the world. But the 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 main thing for me is that if that was, uh, I know the reason why it's designed like that. Um, you get it behind the uh, the actual uh, seat belt, and so you can't cut yourself, your chest or whatever, and then pull. Um, so you know your belt it's in compression. Your your force is against the blade all the time apart from the screwdriver so you lose the screwdriver just keep it a purpose um blade for that or have it more in line uh, if you're going to use it as a screwdriver so that's the reason why i've downed it a bit but apart from that it's very close to five stars 4.5 stars for, sorry 4.75 stars rather guys so thanks for watching um for price and availability see the links below show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.